I think it becomes a transparency and complete honesty component. Uh, I think sometimes uh, as a manager to an owner or as an owner and operator, sometimes um, we at times don't want to have the honest conversation with, from a product standpoint or an offering standpoint, what it's going to take uh, to either position the asset correctly to the segment that we're serving. Uh, for us, it's worked well at times. Uh, I think sometimes ownership will come back and try and at times question whether an item's truly needed. But from our end too, I think we put our owner's hat on uh, from a differential standpoint and saying, is this truly a value play uh, and is there a return from it? Um, and if it's not a return or a maintain maintaining of uh, a segment or an account, then for us it's something that we probably wouldn't present. Uh, but we also don't, um, we don't sugarcoat anything from a standpoint of what's needed for an asset to perform. You know, when you when you kind of look at uh, when you kind of look at what what a management company is truly about and their ethos, it's really in delivering a consistency. It's delivering an experience that that you know resonates with the guests, other than just checking them in or checking them out. It's it's those moments of truth, uh, and it's you know it's helping your associates understand how important those moments of truth are. And there's thousands of them every day in a hotel. And, and that's really where you're going to start to differentiate yourself as, as an operator and as a, as a management company and being able to, to create that ethos and that culture through your people. Having a shared objective between the owner and the management company so that the management company has the ability then to focus on satisfying the guest rather than uh, having a stop-start relationship. I think it's important to have an alignment of interest between the owner and the manager uh, and set a goal in advance that's aligned and then have a path towards realizing the goal. Um, so for instance, if um, you need to improve guest service by 10% uh, and one of your biggest issues is uh, Wi-Fi bandwidth, then there should be dollars in the capital plan towards realizing that improvement in bandwidth and therefore realizing the, the service score improvement. I think that uh, a lot, a lot has changed uh, in that in that relationship, and it, it's really come from the advent of social media and the tremendous uh, exposure, visibility of guest expectations, guest feedback, which has really uh, influenced the purchasing decision of the guests. Um, and since it's it influences the purchasing decision so much, it involves owners and management companies on how just to handle that. Uh, in addition, the brands are reacting to it. Um, the management companies have to react to this increased um, expectation from guests as well. Uh, I think transparency. Uh, you, we need to be completely honest with our owners. Uh, too often we tend to do what the owner wants and we're not giving honest feedback as to how that's going to affect the guest and or associates. So I think from the start of the relationship we need to uh, have very transparent discussions and run the operations in that manner. Guests benefit from uh, a harmonious relationship between ownership as well as brands in recognizing that the brand represents a promise and how is that promise actually being fulfilled vis-a-vis -vis the competition. So as brands seek out how to respond to guest expectations, it's the management companies that actually fulfill those expectations. Well, it's definitely trust. Both parties have to enter into a, an agreement with a sense of trust and that trust builds as a relationship matures. Uh, how this affects the guest is that uh, if a management company can work closely with ownership on investing in the product, improving the hotel operation, uh, improving training programs and guest presentation, then the guest is going to win. And in a good relationship, management and ownership works together in that objective. I think you have to constantly focus on expectations. So not only for the guest, for the ownership, for our associates in the hotel. And I think if you do that, then you will um, create a very good relationship all the way around. Yeah, I, I believe in large part it's, it's creating an expectation level between management and ownership so you're all on the same page. Um, to that end, if, if we're all rowing in the same direction, uh, I would imagine that uh, it, it 
provide significant benefits to the guest experience. I think when there's a disconnect between the two, then I think that creates certain problems. I think it's really a service culture. Our company has a service culture we call hospitality greatness. And we ask all of our associates all the way up to the corporate office to uh, do three things. We call it the key three, acknowledge and smile, anticipate and deliver, and sincerely thank. And that's ingrained throughout all of our properties regardless of the brand. Oh. It's uh, communication, communication and being on the same page in terms of uh, what guest expectations are and the best way to achieve those expectations both on product level as well as from a uh, guest service standpoint.